and welcome to another tutorial from Software How To's. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stop motion animate in LeoCAD. And you might be thinking, LeoCAD is a CAD program using virtual LEGO bricks to create virtual LEGO models, which you can then export an image from. But I've actually found a nice way to do stop motion entirely on the computer using LeoCAD and it actually t turns out pretty nice. One thing I'm going to note before I start this is if you do not know how to use LeoCAD or you kind of know how to use LeoCAD but not very well, then I'd watch the video I put before this one on my channel and that'll explain how to use LeoCAD and so that you are prepared for everything I'm going to be doing in this because I'm not going to be explaining anything, I'm just going to be clicking buttons. Let's start by opening up LeoCAD. Now I've already created this background here with the green base plate and the gray brick in the background. So to make things a little easier, let's just box select or control A and group. Let's call this group background. Click OK. Now it's grouped. So we've got one solid background piece here. And let's add a minifigure. So let's go to piece, minifig wizard. And let's change this up a bit. Let's not do a bracket. Just do none. And let's change hand color to yellow. And let's head color. And that'll do. So we click OK, and it adds it to our thing here. See, let's move him up a bit. Right now he's on the studs, this way. Let's rotate him facing the camera, or where we are. I'll create a camera in a minute. All right, let's push him to the back here. All right, now we got our little figure in front of the background. So first we're going to ungroup this because we want to be able to move all the different parts. All right now we have a bunch of different parts. So the groupings that we can do for this minifigure are the torso plus the little pants connector. That can all be one piece. So we can group that. Just call it torso. And then the legs can't be grouped unless we're going to move the hands. They can't be grouped but we'll not move the hands for this demonstration. So let's group this arm, call it left arm, and let's also group this arm, call it right arm, and then we can group the head and the helmet, call it head. Alright, now we have this guy grouped into one, two, three, four, five, six different components that can all be moved separately. Now let's check our snaps up here. Let's leave this on to half a stud and half a stud. And then let's just turn rotation snap off. Alright, now we have our little guy here. Now it's time to add a camera. Click on the camera button. Just click. Okay. Go back to our mouse. Camera here. This is kind of not where we want it, so like that. Okay. Press C to go to the camera if you set that up. Otherwise, just click up here, view cameras, and click camera one. And now let's tilt this a little bit. So let's click on this. Just make sure we're right on the right. Perfect. You can just click that and we're facing this. So let's go back to the cursor here. And this is our camera facing the exact back. That's not exactly what we want. Let's go to the front. Now we're facing the front. Let's see? Oops, I wasn't actually doing it in the camera. Alright, where is I uh, Found it. There we are. Now see that we're still in camera 1, and we're actually positioning it inside of camera 1. And for this demonstration, it's okay if we just see a little bit over here. Let's try to zoom in as much as possible to only see the Lego bricks. That'll do. So now we have our little guy here, and we have the camera positioned, and we've got a nice backdrop. 
So let's exit the camera. Alright. Camera set. Let's take our first frame. Press C. Click enter to, if you've set up that shortcut. Or if you haven't, just go to file, save image. And let's change the name here to F for frame and then a 1. You click OK. 16600, that's going to be cinema. Choose 16900. It's 69. OK. And it saved our first frame. So let's go out of the camera. And let's start by moving his legs. So we click on a leg. It's a little red rotation thing here. And move it 10.8 degrees. Press C. Enter. F2. This might look a bit strenuous, but once you get into the habit of doing it, it's really not that bad. And it becomes quite easy. And notice here, even though I'm selected on this object, it's not going to actually take a picture of the selection and all the arrows. It only takes a picture of your model. So let's move this up a bit. F3. And I'm going to pause this video here until I've moved his legs successfully up and down, and then I'll give you next steps. Alright, I haven't moved his leg up and down yet, but I've moved it all the way up, and one thing I wanted to note is we can take several frames just to keep his leg in the air a little while. So I'm on frame 9. I can do it again. Frame 10. And let's do it a couple more times. Frame 11. And one more time. Frame 12. So now we have his leg all the way up. One note that I could make right here is you can create a camera too. And then create some other sort of sort of shortcut like Shift C to go to camera 2. And then that camera 2 can be the camera positioned directly at your minifigure. So that it's easy. It's in a position that's easy to move the leg. And then camera 1 is the actual camera that you want to view the animation with. So that was just a note there. And then let's start moving this down. Alright, now I have the leg fully down. And another note I wanted to make is you don't have to take a picture inside the camera. You can go outside of the camera and still take a picture. It'll take a picture of whatever you're looking at. But the camera just helps keep the same area you're looking at so that it's not wobbly and all over the place adjusting it every single time. So that's why the cameras are super helpful. So now, let's rotate his head. So we click on his head, the head and helmet group here. And let's just use the blue arrow and rotate it a little bit. Let's go to our camera, save an image. I'm on frame 20. The more frames you do, the smoother it will be. But if a guy's moving fast, you don't need to do that many frames. Just press T for top so that we get the top of our model here. C, enter. Alright. Now he's rotated his head enough. It looks a little bit creepy. Kind of a little bit far. But let's go for that. Let's go to the top here. And let's see. Now that he's rotated his head... Let's start moving an arm. I'm not going to rotate his head back because we can just leave it there. His head is fine there. He doesn't need to see in front of himself. Alright, let's move the arm and start taking more frames. You've probably by now kind of gotten the hang of this. Moving all the body parts, including bending down, which since I grouped the legs and the joint, it's going to be a little bit harder that you would have to ungroup it and then group it differently. Actually, I didn't group the legs with the joint. I grouped the joint with the torso. So the group setting I have right now works perfectly, unless for some odd reason you wanted him to fall in half. But since I'm not doing that right now, this grouping works perfectly. And frame 30. And his arms all the way up. So that's it we'll do for this animation. It 
looks weird and I should probably move his arm back down and rotate his head. But this is just for demonstration. Let's get out of this camera. And of course we would save our model once we're done. Roll forward to make sure we saved all our progress, but I'm only exporting the frames. So I exported all the frames into a folder. I'm going to move those to the desktop. But once I've done that, that'll conclude this video. In the next video, I'll drag all those frames into this program called Windows Video Editor, which comes installed on your computer. If you have a Windows 10 or probably an older Windows, it'll have it. But if you're using Mac, there are plenty of other applications you can use to just stitch frames together at a very, very small duration for each frame. If it counts in seconds, probably 0.2 seconds would be good for this for each frame. Or 0.5, 0 0.05, 0 0.09. Just something really, 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 really small so that the frames go by really quickly. And it makes a nice, smooth animation. So, I will move those frames to the desktop. Alright, now let's take a look at our frames. Let's go to the desktop. And look! Frames 1 all the way through frames 30. We have a bunch of frames ready to be put in a video editor stitched together. And then we have a nice little animation. Then you can edit it, add effects, add text, whatever you want over it. And create a nice animation. So that will conclude this video. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.